Do you ever look at someone's face like mine and think, Gay. Obviously having a gaydar is a thing that people talk about, but can you tell just from looking at somebody's face? Like if you take away the voice, clothing, and other context clues, and literally just focus on the face, would you know? Is, is gay, gay face, face a, a real, real thing? thing? Feels like a rainbow. Early research in 2011 found that self-identified homosexual men had more symmetrical faces than straight men. But these studies were small and didn't take into consideration grooming techniques. I mean, us gay guys, we like to pluck our eyebrows, keep our beards nice and trim. I struggle with both of those things, actually. Also, I know a lot of gay men who have Botox and filler trying to make their faces symmetrical. So in 2015, researchers started using morphometric software, which is basically a quantitative analysis of form or physical features. You know, like, actually measuring distances and angles and then using math, and they found that gay men had shorter noses and larger foreheads compared to their straight counterparts. Research on lesbian faces found that, on average, the lesbians in the study had more upturned noses and smaller foreheads than their straight counterparts. Interestingly, having a gay male face wasn't just a matter of being more feminine when judged by independent raters. So a gay man could still have a very masculine looking face, but also be considered to have a gay looking face and vice versa for lesbians. But perhaps my favorite and most hilarious research took these results even further. They basically took a bunch of pictures of people's faces, stripped them of any accessories, makeup, and even hair, and then exaggerated their features to differing degrees in order to make them look more or less quintessentially gay, based on the previous findings. Then they asked a group of volunteers to guess if the images were of gay or straight people. And no word of a lie, the rating scores almost perfectly fit a linear regression model. Meaning, the more exaggerated the gay features were, the more likely the volunteers were to think that that person was gay based on their face alone. This suggests that having a gay face is more of a continuum rather than being categorical. So it's not that you either have one or you don't, but that there's a scale from slight gay face to full-blown gay face. But even without using modified photos, it turns out that some people are better at identifying gay faces than others. One study found that women are better than men at identifying the sexuality of a man or woman based solely on their face. In fact, women were actually particularly good at guessing if a man was gay based on their face alone. They did it with 75% accuracy. This is consistent with some earlier research about how women are better than men at facial processing. The research also found that the less prejudiced someone was towards gay people, the more accurate they were at identifying gay faces. And not so surprisingly, gay and lesbian individuals often had higher rates of accuracy than heterosexual individuals at guessing gay faces. Then in 2021, with the help of AI processing systems, things started to get wild in the world of gay face studies. Researchers fed an AI system 35,000 images from dating sites of both gay and straight faces, and the AI was able to accurately guess if a person was gay or straight based solely on their face shape with 81% accuracy for men and 74% accuracy for women. This study also found that gay men's faces had larger foreheads and narrower jaws. Gay female faces had smaller foreheads and larger jaws compared to straight women. But why would gay people have different facial structures in the first place? The truth is, we don't know for sure. But scientists suggest that some biological factors, such as exposure to certain levels of sex hormones, could subtly influence the facial structure differently in men and women, and at the same time, their sexual orientation. Of course, it's important to note that nearly all of this research uses binary concepts of both sexual orientation and gender when we know lots of people fall into different places on the spectrum of life. And of course, it's worth bringing up the genuine concern and critiques that this type of research can bring up. The risk of reinforcing harmful stereotypes, their issue with privacy, and whether this is gonna like be technology that's weaponized against us queer people. And of course, gay people can have straight faces, straight people can have gay faces. This is just research that's describing some trends. So while it's of course interesting to learn about the biology of being gay, it's also important to be sensitive about this research as well. Scanning people's faces and then sorting them into gay or straight seems like a dystopian movie that I do not really need to be a part of. <laughs> but what about gay voice? Can you tell someone's gay just from the way that they sound? We actually have a whole episode breaking down the science of gay voice on our Side Note podcast channel, which I'll link to on screen here or in the description below. Or if you prefer just the audio podcast, you can see it on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you listen. Just search Side Note Podcast by ASAP Science. You can hear more of our gay voices with our gay faces talking about more gay science. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe, okay? And uh, we'll see you ASAP, AO, for some new science. Uh, so peace. Peace.